guys, welcome to the first morning of the hunt. After the long travel day yesterday, Randy and I shared a tent uh, just up there, and then Alan slept in the uh, Fuso. Um, so yeah, pretty good night, it's about 6 a.m. now, so no sun yet, but um, we're gonna grab some tea and have a bit of breakfast, and then we're gonna probably hit the road and start heading up um, to where we wanna make camp. Uh, fairly high up the mountain. <coughs> um, it will be pretty much the same line to where we saw the bison yesterday and hopefully we'll have some luck with those guys. Uh, season opens tomorrow so we've got today to scout and find and get onto those guys and hopefully what we'll do is actually scout, find them, uh, just watch them from a distance through the spotting scope and then um, watch them bed down for the night and then uh, we'll get onto them first thing tomorrow morning for the opening of the season. So yeah, it's great to be here. It's not too cold, it's actually quite nice. Um, it was a good night, slept pretty good. So, ready for today. Let's go. To be concealed. Yeah. And if we just off the edge there, we can we can go to where we need to glass. If we can't glass from where we can see. So we're just heading up here, um, but there's actually a gate here for private property, which wasn't here the last time that Alan hunted here. So Alan hunted here with a friend of his a couple of years ago. And um, there's now a gate here that's closed, so we're going to have to find another way in and change our tax a little bit. guys so um, went up that road and there's a private gate that closed us out so we've had to change plans we were going to camp right at the top there when we got to the top yeah, but tough, huh? what we're going to do now is we're setting up camp so we here we stayed just um, over there last night so uh, we're going to camp here we're going to leave most of the gear and then we're going to jump in the Suburban in a bit and head up over a pass the other way and we'll stop up there and then come back down the mountain on foot and see what we can see, see if we can find that herd of bison that we saw yesterday. So yeah. Time for some breakfast. You hear him coming. So we just had some <coughs> smoothie and breakfast and heading out now. See if we can find that herd of buffalo that we saw yesterday. It's pretty cloudy at the top of the mountain so we're not sure what we'll be able to see. But we're going to head up over the pass and see what we can find. <coughs> I think I'm going mad Randy, talking to myself. <laughs> well you are. <laughs> yeah, he's a beauty. There's a couple of beauties there. A couple of calves. You see the one on the left has got a collar on. Yeah, it looks like it might be a cow though. Nice. Young. It's a good size herd as well. Pretty chilly. Right. Just gonna go for a hike quickly and 
just over there. Let's see if we can see those bison that we saw yesterday in the bottom. <clears throat> that was a quick little brisk walk. It was nice. nice. Let's get up and do a bit of a walk. <coughs> Didn't see much. Went to the end of this track and found the... What you call it? No entry zone. No entry zone. Private land. Let's get this. Let's get that thing open. There we go. Hi, Drew. Well, did you see him? Bent down. Hey. The whole herd bridge. Good ball in there. Oh, you can see him. You can go like this, really. uh, which, which ridge? It's not the main formation, the next formation over. Okay. It's on the far right shoulder. Okay. Yeah, we could have seen him from below. Not the same herd you guys saw yesterday then. No. no they're no, here. This is this side. Okay. Did you see these? Uh, no, but I stopped down on the road and last the first formation here and I didn't see anything up there. Okay. How's it going? Good to see you, man. You good? How's the drive up? Good. Yeah, nice. it's, it's cruisy. Okay. It's an easy drive, actually. Yeah, it's pretty chill. I thought I was going to hit that storm last night, but the roads are dry. mountain again. Um, just been back to camp to have some lunch and get a few things sorted and we've spent the morning scouting and looking for the herd that we found yesterday. <clears throat> we didn't find that same group of buffalo that we saw yesterday coming in again this morning but we found that other herd uh, that we've been looking at a lot. We've pretty much gone around all different angles and stuff to see what the best approach is and we've kind of got a game plan now so tomorrow the season opens so we're gonna basically camp uh, just below the, the herd here for the night and then early in the morning before light we're gonna get above them and hopefully get a shot we'll be competing with quite a few hunters they are We've seen quite a few guys knocking around here, glassing these, this herd. So hopefully it's not a circus tomorrow, but yeah, could be a bit of a crab shoot here. Make the best and see what we get. It's a great location though. If we do manage to kill a bull there, it's pretty close to a road, so getting the meat out and everything will be much easier than it could be, but just have to see what happens tomorrow. Count 17 there. There's some young ones there too. Yeah, a lot of cows. Some calves. So they are currently just in between those two knolls there. Just in that little saddle there. So the buffalo are right on the ridge. So the plan is that we're gonna basically camp down here somewhere, just on the other side of this hill, and then in the morning try and get above them and go from there. We find this bull. Yep. Look, he's out there. Ready. <laughs> Bet your ass. <laughs> That's born ready. Not 
sure if you guys can hear us, but the buffalo are just on the other side of this hill. We're just glancing them to see if we can find any bulls or anything like that. But yeah, it's busy snowing. Uh, pretty cold. of my commentary you heard from on the top of that hill there because the wind was going at a rate of knots <laughs> but um basically the buff moved from that little saddle in the top of the ridge that we showed you earlier <clears throat> and they went down into uh, the bottom of the two hills into the sort of valley um, and then they just walked along that and they've walked down into this timber here that we're just going to look at here. So we're <clears throat> going to see if we can find where they eventually bed. We suspect there's water down there um, because it's the only reason that they would have moved down there that we can think of. Um, weather was pretty hectic up there, quite windy and snowy, which normally for these buffalo it won't really affect them. Um, but yeah. See what we can find and we'll keep you guys posted. If we can locate them before it gets dark, yeah. yeah. I think we've got a ridge we can get on and at least see one's face in this valley. So I'm just interested to see if they're going to hit water or if they're actually dropping, changing location. The trade off there is how many people see us, see them, and then you know, if we kind of got ourselves in a position where potentially we had the best vantage point. Everyone else that was lasting these were downwind. And we'll see, hopefully we're the only ones that saw them cut down into there. Yeah. <clears throat> there are quite a few people that were watching us, watching them though. So we may have a bunch of guys following us here. But um, it will be important to try and find where they're bed or at least see where the direction that they're heading before it gets dark. So hopefully we can locate them first thing in the morning before it's, before it's light. This is an incredible part of the world though. Like the view from the top of that hill was insane. And when you look out over here, you guys probably won't see it because it was a wide angle lens, but like when you check down on the valley floor there where it's like sunshine and you can see the rain and the snow in the distance and see for miles. It's incredible. Really beautiful spot. So we found the bison again. I dropped Andy off here uh, about 20 minutes ago. He's gonna um, <clears throat> just glass them and get a closer look at them. But um, this huge storm has come in here. I don't know. You can probably hear all the sleet hitting the car here. It's coming down like crazy at the moment. So yeah, this is where I dropped Andy off, so I'm just going to hang here for a bit and see if um... <clears throat> Alright guys, um, so we relocated those balls, I jumped out of the vehicle and uh, we had a big, I've just had a storm, it's just a white out right now outside, it's just, just a freaking gale out there, but I've got the herd down here and they've moved down fairly aggressively. Um, but I think we're, at least for now, the only ones that know where they are roughly. No telling where they'll be in the morning, but uh, if we get some, we get a little bit of ice and stuff down here, I at least know roughly where they are. So with some luck, we might be able to drop into that gully and maybe track is one potential. Um, it's just gonna depend on where they end up. But 
he out kind of for more than that. We at least had last eyes on him, so fingers crossed. I think what we'll we'll do first thing is we'll hit that, and if this sticks, we we'll track him. Yeah. yeah. We'll be able to get off to the ground. Sure, yeah. Just sure. But there, it depends how much of this it puts down. They can go Especially if, if, if they kept moving down and the wind's blowing up, yeah, and tracking them and this stuff would be this, this perfect. Is stick. But pretty much, I think in the morning we'll have you start walking from where I was, potentially. And then a couple of us will get on this ridge here. And we'll just last that and we'll slowly drop in there until we find it. So I think it'll go back up again and we'll to keep it going down. It almost looks like it'll come to this flat. That's the first result of the Yeah, thanks to Francie for an amazing dinner. Looking good. All snuggled up in the camper. <laughs> Sheer luxury. Hey guys, just about to turn in for today. Um, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, lots of running around the mountains here, going after, trying to find those buffalo. Uh, we never found the herd that we saw yesterday, uh, but we found that new herd and um, we think that they are in a pretty good position for us to go after them tomorrow. So had a decent amount of snow, um, not sure how much you can see there, but yeah, probably about three or four inches of snow. Um, so hopefully that'll help us to track the buffalo tomorrow or the bison. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, it's looking pretty good. Uh, pretty keen for the opening of the season. Keen to see what we get tomorrow, so yeah exciting times. It's been pretty cold today, um, but yeah, it's just amazing, beautiful country, awesome. So good to be here. I'm gonna catch some sleep and we'll catch you guys in the morning. Cheers.